are Crispin Sinclair, and uh, you're with B-A-B-L-E-B-I-K-E.com. That's the important part. And finally, we have somebody in the world making us a safe. What the hell took you so long? Uh, well, we've been working on it for the last three years, so uh, finally we're getting there. I mean, it's so amazing. I mean, we're becoming a bicycle culture all over the world now, not just China. You know, I mean, every city, downtown, my folks bought my boys who are 30 years old, and they both don't have cars, they have bikes. You know, everybody, this is the way to do it. And the safety issue seems to be the big stumbling block right now. And so you figured out a way to make these safe. You have uh, like a roll bar on it, right? Correct? And the, Aim, you know, so even if a truck hits you, you know, you'll just roll over and won't get crushed to death. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you have a roll bar like you would inside a car, uh, inside the car structure. You sit, you wear a safety belt, and it's designed to be able to take impacts with cars and also with vans and 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 lorries and buses. And it's wide enough that it will kind of get pushed out away from the vehicle, unlike you know. Wow. So if you fall off your normal bike, you can easily get run over by a bus or a car. I see. On the Babel bike, uh, it's wide enough that you get physically just pushed away, thrown out of the way, as it were. And, but you're wearing the safety belt and you're sitting inside a, a safer seat. So um, got a, a good level of protection, much higher level of protection than anybody's ever put on a bicycle before. You can see what this looks like. I mean, you're a prototype now on, on your website, you know, uh, uh, babelbike.com. It, it's important that... People could now be able to get one of these soon. They could get on your list, right? And you'll be in production soon. You've been fundraising, looking for investors and everything. And these are going to be available soon. Uh, and you're making interesting models. So you're going to have one so you can have a baby on it? <laughs> I was just saying, there's sort of a, a couple of um, uh, later versions we're doing. So you, you can put sort of two children in the front of the bike and you can ride your children to school. Uh, huh. And for the first time ever, the children sit in car child safety seats, so that they and they wear safety belts. So again, if if, if it's hit by a car or something, that you do uh, that, there's a good level of protection. So you could have a, they have a little roll bar for them too. Yes, exactly. They get their own roll bar on the front of the bike, and for the first time, you can bicycle your children to school safely, which I think a lot of people like to do. But also, more importantly, this because it's probably a little heavier have some extra power there too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's, there's two versions. One is pedal only, but I think the more popular one is electric and pedal, and that way you can kind of use the electric to help you pedal, say, on the way to work, and maybe just pedal pedal only on the way home to get some exercise. So, uh, nice combination. It is. I mean, you know, talking to you earlier, it just occurred to me, one of the reasons I always like working at home is that I can have an extra hour of my life to exercise and not to sit in traffic. And now if you have to go to work, if you get one of these parks and you're exercising and you're safe and, you know, uh, on your way to work and you don't need that extra hour to, to exercise because you're doing it while you commute. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the workshop we've got up in North London, it takes me about 25 minutes on the bicycle to get to work or about the same time in the car. And, and the bicycling is the time of the day. So I've got, you know, 20, 20 minutes, half an hour cycling on the way to work, half an hour on the way home. I'm doing an hour's exercise every day. And the other choice I've got is to spend the same amount of time stuck in a car. Uh, you know, in a traffic jam, it's it's, it's more enjoyable cycling. Oh, and I don't have to go down to the gym. I don't have to go for a run because I've done my cycling whilst I was commuting. Hey, and now that you don't have to pay for a gym, some of these gyms, I mean, they can cost you a hundred bucks a month or whatever for these things. Yeah. Absolutely. And kind of when you, I think for some reason when you're bicycling to work, it, it sort of doesn't feel like exercise. Yeah. You know, it doesn't feel like you're actually doing something. You're not running on a treadmill. You, right. You're going somewhere. There was a very famous person who was running on his treadmill at home. Well, I think. I mean, he's like the guy who has a very famous high tech firm. He's married to a Yahoo lady who wrote this famous book. And he's exercising on a treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> morning on the news. Yeah, that was. Um, uh, so it's. Uh, good, not I mean, good. That, that's why right. people think that riding a bicycle is not safe. Man, you made it. You certainly sell a hell of a lot safer than a treadmill. <laughs> yeah, 
Absolutely. And it's a, you know, we're the first people ever to put, to, to put safety into cycling. Nobody's ever done it before. Um, but we're the first people to do it. First people to sort of crash test uh, bicycles. So, you know, we're working with Myra in the UK, who are the one of the world leaders in, in car crash testing. And we're using a similar approach to, for the first time, to, um, to, to do the engineering to crash test the bicycle. Wow, so we're going to have like a, a, a scale, a rating system for how safe bike, every bike is. Yeah? And you got the same as because no other bike is doing anything like this. Yeah, no, I, think that's, I think that will come in the future. I think we will see sort of similar rating standards. Yeah. I mean, we're writing, the, because we're, we're the world's first safe bicycles, we're also developing the safety test to which the bikes are tested. But we work with Meyer in the UK as a their leading tech, uh, safety authority, and I think in the future, yeah, bicycles will have a safety rating system just like cars do. We'll have the uh, gold standard, let's say, for uh, bicycle safety, and you'll be the man that'll be a, a monument soon. Because it seems like everybody's starting to ride bicycles. I mean, this is what you know. New York City's trying to get more people on bicycles. Washington D.C. is trying to get more people on bicycles. Bike lanes, everything, you know, and more and more people are living the city, moving the city. That's where all the jobs are. That's where all the action is. We can't all have cars, you know. Like in London, you you eliminated cars altogether. I think. So. Yeah, not quite yet. I, I sort of, I'm, I'm very pro bicycle, so I look forward to the day we have no cars at all in the cities. <laughs> of course, we still do. You know, bicycle lanes are fantastic where they put them in, but unfortunately, right. they're certainly not everywhere. So, for, if you haven't got really good bike lanes, the next best thing is a safer bicycle. Well, if you want to get one of these things, to get on the list to get one, uh, it's Babel, B A B E L, bike, B I K E dot com all about it you're interested in helping taking you to the next level you're interested in that kind of help too right and to get this out there people need it the world needs it here in america or london but all over the world I mean, it is an important thing you're doing for the rest of us and for taking your passion and focusing in on something that's only you and your pocketbook but the rest of us and safety and transportation and living better and everything well, thank you so much, Kristen. Thank you for being there and all the things you're doing. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, really good to chat to you and uh, all the best. It's, uh, thank, thank you for interviewing me. Very kind. <laughs>